So the law of privacy preservation goes back to the 1920s. It has been a very influential, for example, in Congress and some cham chamber of democratically elected. It's very important the order of who speaks and how long they can speak. And like this can speak only after this one finished and you have the filibuster and so forth. So this is extremely important. Or also in juries. In judicial juries, it's the, the order of presentation as a jury is very important. It's meticulously ordered when you have a judicial trial. So the order that you present arguments matter. We know that for, I mean, 400 years as a scientific fact. Now, guess what Google is doing? Well, it orders the arguments that you see by search results. So the recommender engine of any search result, it might be it might be a search engine like Google or Bing or whatever, or for all the biggest search engines, or it might be, I don't know, in a job market, in a job marketplace that you look for something. And you know, the prime, the, the order of the things that you presented are extremely influential. In this very ingenious study with Epstein and Robinson, I like this study, it's, it's, it's a great study. Basically what they showed is that just the order of recommended articles, the, the order they record, they showed you the news articles, they, they didn't even change the headlines. So no fake news against true news. It's just the order of the articles that's presented in some elections it could change undecided voters of between 40 and 80%. I mean, that's just insane because usually in an election, well, in our country here, if you have 52%, it's a landslide. Or if you have 51%, it's even a landslide. If it doesn't turn out like 50 something comma, so usually across the world even, 7% margin is the average that an election, a typical election is one. Local elections have a high, much higher margin, but you see 40 to 80% of the undecided voter, that's just, that's just crazy. And that's the power that Sergey Brin and Larry Page, who coded up Google search engine, that's the power they have. Just not even introducing fake or truth, just like changing the order. And um, that is extremely important. That gives you, that gives a lot of power and goes back to that, to that kind of cognitive bias, the law of primacy in persuasion.